did two different stints at Revere High School. Second, uh, she's in her second full year, consecutive year. She coached a couple of years earlier with the program. And so jumping the ball will be Megan Gotham for Revere. And Katie Dixon, senior forward out of Revere, jumping for St. Mary's, number 33, facing us here. Great to have you with us here on MSONewsports.com. Tomorrow, a high school hockey game here on the website, Internet Radio. Peabody at Gloucester, 8 o'clock. We'll probably also try to follow some other games on the North Shore tomorrow night. So do check us out. Ball is um, a missed jump here. They're going to re-jump that. Was not touched by the uh, two jumpers. Not the best start here to tonight's game. This time it's slapped out of bounds. It'll be a St. Mary's basketball. They'll come this way. Kayla Carter to inbound on the sidelines. Marnell Galad takes the inbounds pass. Nowicki goes down right block with a feed down to Dixon, knocked away and taken away by uh, Gonzalez of Revere. Take into the paint, kicks it out into the corner. Revere works it around the perimeter. A three from straight on is no good off the fingertips of Icovello. Now a scramble on the floor. It's tied up. Possession arrow going to Revere. Icovello to inbound on the sidelines for Revere out near midcourt. To Gonzalez. Back off to Icovello. Sophomore. Working it around the perimeter. Bounce pass down low. Scramble for the ball on the floor. Tied up again. This time St. Mary's has the possession arrow. Bill Newell here with you along with uh, Andrew Nicastro from uh, St. Mary's High School on this uh, Tuesday night. St. Mary's basketball. Marnell Garad with it. Goes cross to her left side to Nowicki. On the right to Garad, working it down in the right corner for Dixon. Around the perimeter, this looks like trouble, and it's out of bounds. Turnover. Revere basketball. No score here. Almost a minute gone by first quarter. Feed back up on top. Out on the wing, Icovello has it right now. Two hands over her head. Up on the left to Gonzalez, going baseline. Have a blocking foul, I believe. That foul is on Olivia Nazaire. Nazaire committing her first personal foul in a scoreless game. Revere to inbound. Just a blocking foul, not a shooting foul. Knocked out of bounds by St. Mary's. Revere basketball again on the end line. Icovello to inbound. Way out up top for Hinoso. Goes into backcourt. Ali Hinojosa. Senior guard. Back off to Gonzalez. A drive into the paint. No, but the putback and in by Gotham is good. So Gotham gets the game's first points. Double zero. Megan Gotham, a junior. Here's a three out on the left wing, taken there by Nowicki. No offensive board, though, by St. Mary's. <clears throat> Coming down with it is Nazair. Here's a drive to the basket. A runner doesn't go. Rebound tipped way back outside. Another board for St. Mary's. <clears throat> and a blocking foul. This will go against Maritza Scott of Revere, their first personal foul. Almost two minutes gone by. First quarter. Revere is uh, up on top, 2-0. Inbounds pass comes to Marnell Garad, averaging 20 points per game for the Spartans. Here's a three out on the left wing, a little bit too long for Garad. Ball goes over the end line, it's a Revere basketball. Two coaches tonight, Diana Finn, Revere High School, Jeff Newhall, St. Mary's. He's also their athletic director. St. Revere basketball, Hinojoso. Working it around on the right. Here's Gonzalez with a take to the basket. Doesn't go, and the ball's loose. Picked up there. Good effort there by Nazaire. She's on the drive to the basket. Strong move. 
Shot doesn't go, but she's fouled. So Gonzalez will go to the free throw line for two shots. A blocking foul, I think it's on Icovella. Yeah, that's on Icovello, her first foul. Gonzalez with two free throws. First one is good. Check that. I'm sorry. This is um, Olivia Nazaire with the, with the two free throws. First one is good, and the second one is good. So Nazaire with two free throws. First points for St. Mary's tonight. Ties the game up at two. Five and a half minutes to go, first quarter. Revere basketball up top. Icovello off on the right. This is Gonzalez with a three. Too long and out of bounds. Over the end line. Again, two of the top North Shore High School girls basketball teams going at it here tonight at St. Mary's. Here's a nice take to the basket. Looks like a reach-in foul as well. Is it Marnell Garad with the drive to the basket. And she'll go to the line for two shots. And that foul is on Gotham. That's her first foul for Revere. And Garad hits the free throw. St. Mary's now three for three from the free throw line. Next one's in the air. That's good. Two free throws there by Garad. And it's a 4-2 St. Mary's lead here at home. This is Icovello. With the basketball on the right for Gonzalez. Back up to Icovello. Back on the right for Gonzalez. A three from there. She's got it. Pamela Gonzalez with a three. First three in tonight's game. A couple of them have been uh, attempted here. St. Mary's cross-court pass ends up in the hands of the Karad. And she nails a three. Now each team has one. And it's a 7-5 St. Mary's lead. Four and a half minutes to go, first quarter. Ball loose in the paint, scramble for it. St. Mary's comes up with it. Strong take to the basket and the lay in by Garad. Timeout. Well, Marnell Garad now with seven points in the first quarter and a 9-5 lead for St. Mary's High School as Revere takes a timeout with 4.21 to go in the first quarter. <coughs> We're brought to you in part tonight by uh, Sylvan Street Grill. Eat, drink, and chill at the Sylvan Street Grill. And by Moynihan Lumber of Beverly, North Reading, and Plastow, New Hampshire. Got a note here. St. Mary's is uh, going to be having the uh, Spartan Classic uh, starting on Sunday, February 14th. And uh, this involves a bunch of girls basketball teams. Game started at 11 o'clock. Belmont, Rotten, Dunstable, Wayland, Pentucket, Newton, North, Masconomet, Revere, taking on Belrica, Hoosick Valley versus Rockland, and uh, Martha's Vineyard versus St. Mary's. So that's like an all-day Sunday, February 14th, and the teams continue to play on Monday the 15th. That would be the start of uh, vacation week. That's right, it's already February vacation week, fast approaching here on the North Shore. 4.16 to go first quarter. Revere basketball down by two points. They throw it out of bounds. Here they're going to be out of bounds or a backcourt violation. It rolls over the sidelines at midcourt. Nowicki to inbound for St. Mary's. Like a little dampness on the floor. Nine to five. Four point lead for St. Mary's and they have the basketball. Marnell Garad with it. Off on the right for Nowicki. Back to Garad. Her pass too far, too high to Katie Dixon. Intended for Dixon. Just under four minutes to play first quarter. Nine to five the score. Revere trailing. They have the basketball. Icovello down the right to Gonzalez. Back up to Icovello. Tries to slide by a defender. Kicks it back out for a three on the left wing. Too far from uh, Natasha Icovello. And here's a shot and a foul. Going to the line will be uh, Valentina Pepic. Now, Pepic is an interesting story. She did not start tonight's game, but she's the leading scorer with 17 points, 10 rebounds in the game. Draws the foul there at the free throw line. 
makes the first. That last foul was on St. Mary's Kayla Carter. That would be her first foul. Pepic's second free throw is good. Well, I'm going to jinx these uh, both teams here. The free throw shooting has been outstanding here in tonight's game so far in the first quarter. So I'm sorry I had to say that, coaches. There's a three by Garad of St. Mary's. That's her second three of the quarter. 12-7, Spartans lead over Revere. Revere basketball, Icovello. This is um, Tatiana Icovello. Cross court right uh, to uh, Tatiana Icovello. Back to uh, Pepic. That shot doesn't go. And it's an offensive board, though, for uh, Revere. Put up and in by Gonzalez. Nice effort there. She's got five points now. She has a three and a two. 12-9 the score. Three-point Spartan lead. Double in the corner. Ball tipped away. Scramble tied up. Held ball. This time it's going to Revere. It's a one-possession game with 2.49 to go first quarter. MSO News Sports with North Shore Today. Posted uh, weekday mornings. Discussion on the week's news stories. Also a bunch of different guests. Also uh, today, Thomas Younger, the uh, town manager from Swampscott. Uh, post with uh, him discussing some of the recent events in the town of Swampscott here on the website. Pepic with the take to the basket, and she's got it. Valentina Pepic. She's got four points just off the bench. Closes it to a one-point game. Spartans lead. They have the basketball. Garad with it. Revere getting a little bit more aggressive defensively here. This is Nowicki down in the corner. A three ball from there. No off the fingertips of Carter. St. Mary's gets the bound. Take to the basket. Shot doesn't go. Good take there by Mia Nowicki of St. Mary's High School. Revere basketball just under two minutes now to play first quarter. Here's a three out on the right wing. Too long there for Natasha Icovello. And uh, up court come uh, St. Mary's, but there's a foul, a reach-in foul. Looks like that's on Maritza Scott. Yeah, that's her second foul. And there's Scott checking out of the game and coming into the game is Ali Hinos Hinojosa, senior guard, who's one of the starters. One-point game, St. Mary's leads. They have the basketball. Down left corner, Kyla, Kayla Carter going cross-court with a pass. Here's Garad with it, a take, no. There's a nice rebound by Pepic. And up court comes Revere. Minute and a half to play. Ball redirected to the corner. Gonzalez with the take to the basket, left side. Shot doesn't go, but there's a foul. The foul is on uh, Katie Dixon. That's her first foul. And team's third foul. And Revere's Pamela Gonzalez, the sophomore at the free throw line. She has five points so far in this quarter. Free throw good. A couple of substitutions here. Uh, Pepic coming out of the game and going back in is Megan Gotham. Double zero. Second free throw from Pamela Gonzalez. Left hand toss. Wide left. Didn't hit the rim. So I wouldn't say it completely jinxed the free throw shooters because Gonzalez hit the first one there. Swished it. Missed the second one. And that is their first miss of the evening. Game tied at 12. First quarter. Revere and St. Mary's. St. Mary's basketball. Garada three. She's got it. Marnell Garad, that's her third three of this quarter. Oh, man. A minute to play, first quarter, St. Mary's and Revere. Patriots work it around. Down into the corner, Gonzalez on the dribble, looking up high. Off for uh, Tatiana Icovello. There's a three from her right hand. That doesn't go. And the offensive rebound by Gotham pulls it down and kicks it back out to uh, Natasha Icovello. Here's a take and a drive to the basket by Hinojosa. That was a nice basket there. Picking up a loose ball and taking it to the hoop. Giving Revere the one-point lead, 
There's a drive to the basket by St. Mary's. Shot doesn't go. The rebound followed and put back in by Katie Dixon. Right on the spot, 17-14 the score. St. Mary's up by the three points. 13 seconds to play. Ball tipped into the backcourt. Scramble for it. Got a foul. It's on St. Mary's, the foul. <clears throat> Not the foul you want to have right at the end of the quarter here. I think it's on Garad. Coach Newhall there questioning that call. Looked a little strange, but uh, it'll be a St. Mary's basketball inbounding. Five seconds, four, three, down Gonzalez. Doesn't see the time. That's it. They don't get the shot off. So we come to the end of the first quarter with the score. St. Mary's leading Revere 17-14 here on MSONewsports.com. Harrington's Trophy and Awards has been rewarding the North Shore for over 25 years. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. And I am Marty Harrington, and we are known for our local family business, providing custom trophies, plaques, screen printing, embroidery, and much more. We offer a variety of services, such as engraving wedding gifts, medals for charity walks, youth sports trophies and uniforms. From the newest style performance wear to your everyday work shirts, we are your one-stop shop. Whether it's a fantasy football, warm-up suits for your team, end-of-the-year banquet gifts, or recognizing excellence, we pride our business on our exceptional customer service and quality products. Located in Lynn or visit our website at harringtontrophy.com. MSONewsports.com, keeping you in touch with the North Shore. Our multimedia website presents Trending Now with Josh Arnold, Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock. And follow us on Twitter at MSO News Sports. Big first quarter for Marnell Garad of um, St. Mary's. 13 points, including three threes in that quarter. Revere was led by Pamela Gonzalez's six points. Valentina Pepic off the bench with four points. And we're underway here in the second quarter. St. Mary's basketball to get things underway. Mia Nowicki on the left, right rather, back off on the left for Garad. And here's Nowicki's three, no good. And the rebound comes free to Revere. Up court, Pamela Gonzalez flying down the left side of the court. Pulls it back out. Tatiano Icavello waiting up top. And, but uh, Gonzalez enters it down low. Here's a nice take to the basket by Megan Gotham. Gotham now with four points in the game. She has two field goals. Using the size and just coming in off that left block. Take and the kick back out. Cross court pass. Good ball movement by St. Mary's. But now they throw it away over the end line. However, it was last touched by Gotham as he uh, jumped way up the junior to deflect it out of bounds. So it'll be a St. Mary's basketball on the end line with Kayla Carter to do the inbounding. Off to Garad for a three. She's got it. She continues to uh, be hot here. When that was 16 points in the game, her fourth three of the evening. First points for St. Mary's in the second quarter, and they lead by four, 20 to 16. A Revere basketball and a take to the basket. Shot doesn't go. Rebound scramble loose on the floor. Revere's Gotham picks it up. And she's called for traveling. <laughs> 20 to 16. Four point St. Mary's lead and they have the basketball. This is Garad, pull up three. Left her alone, doesn't go. Garad almost got her own rebound. Off for Mia Nowicki, a three. No. And the rebound is pulled down there on the outside by Tatiano Icovello. Point guard there for Revere High School. Right hand dribble. Off on the right to Hinojosa. She takes it to the basket and she commits a double dribble violation. High school hockey Wednesday night here on MSO. Tomorrow night it will be Peabody at Gloucester. I think it's an 8 o'clock faceoff from Gloucester. St. Mary's basketball. They lead four. Take to the basket. No. The follow-up. No. That follow-up there was with uh, Kayla Carter. Revere basketball. Gonzalez. 
She has the uh, point guard, Icovello, off to her right, now gets the ball. This is Gotham, high post, now drives down low and lays it in. Megan Gotham. Well, right now, that's working for Revere. Coach Finn trying to put that into that offense. Two-point game, 2018, St. Mary's basketball. Again, good Spartan ball movement. Now the ball knocked free. Good defensive hands there by Tatiano Icovella of Revere, the sophomore. Down left base, drive to the basket by Maritza Scott. Senior. Shot doesn't go, but she's fouled. And the foul is on Olivia Nazaire. It's her second foul. Maritza Scott at the free throw line. She has two shots. Misses the first. Two-point game. St. Mary's leading by the two points, 20 to 18. 5.23 to play, first half. Revere changes, or rather St. Mary's changes up on the blocks there for the rebounds. Maritza Scott's second free throw. It's in the air. That's short, but there's a lane violation <clears throat> against Revere. And it'll be a St. Mary's basketball, and they call a timeout. We're brought to you in part tonight by Harrington Trophy, rewarding the North Shore for over 25 years. They, had they are located at 557 Chestnut Street in Lynn. HarringtonTrophy.com. Quality products and exceptional customer service. Harrington Trophy. For all that's new in kitchen cabinets, visit Moynihan Lumber in North Reading, Beverly, or Plastown, New Hampshire, or at MoynihanLumber.com. Moynihan Lumber, we measure up. Hi, this is Jeff Clickstein, General Manager at Moore GMC in Danvers. Did you know that we're a family-owned and operated dealer that's been serving the North Shore since 1969? Our service department ranks as one of the best in customer satisfaction because we respect our customers' busy schedule and we do repairs as quickly as possible with the least amount of inconvenience to you. We are conveniently located off Route 128 at Exit 23, 80 High Street in Danvers. I personally invite all of you to come in, come visit us, see why our customers keep coming back for all their automotive needs. MSONewsports.com featuring live winter high school sports broadcasts in both hockey and basketball. Follow us on Twitter at MSONewsports and email us at MSONewsports at gmail.com. We're connecting you to the North Shore like never before. St. Mary's to inbound, length of the court to go. Mia Nowicki to inbound to Marnell Garad and she comes up court. Left hand, right hand dribble. Over midcourt, bounce pass into the right corner. Kayla Carter there, doubled, gives back up to Garad. Goes cross court left and is stripped away by uh, Pamela Gonzalez of Revere. Up court, trying to tie the game here. Down two, there's a reach in foul. Foul is on Mia Nowicki. That's her first foul. Team six fouls, so next foul they'll go into the one and one. Five minutes, four seconds to play, first half. Tatiano Acovello exchanging with Gonzalez outside. On the left, the ball is batted out of bounds by Garad of St. Mary's. Sidelines left, inbounds pass. Revere, basketball. Hinojosa to inbound. Gonzalez up top, off on the right. For Icovello. Gonzalez down to Hinojoso, driving in baseline, got a window. Wait a minute, we got an offensive foul here. I'm thinking somebody down there cleared that path for her. Let's see if they uh, got them and got called for that offensive foul. That's her second foul. Might have been good Sunday night in the Super Bowl, a play like that, for some blocking and uh, clearing a lane. Not here tonight. The officials did not appreciate that. It, it was funny. You were, were watching from up top here, uh, uh, way at the other end of the court, and uh, Hinojosa just kind of had a clear path right to the basket. You're wondering, what's up with that? 
Here's Garage 3 for St. Mary's. She's got it. She's having a very good night here. 13, 16, 19 points here in the first half for her. 4.15 to go, first half. St. Mary's now leading by 5, 23-18. Here's a three ball. Too long off the fingertips of Icovello. Follow-up shot, no, by Pepek. And there's a rebounding foul, and Revere will go to the line to shoot two. Blocking foul on the shot. This is on Garad. It's her second foul. And Maritza Scott at the line. Free throw is short. Substitution for Revere out of the game. Tatiano Icovello coming in, Natasha Icovello. Tatiano the sophomore, Natasha coming in, the senior. And Maritza Scott's free throw is good. It's her first point of the evening. They take that away from her? I think they took that away because it was a five-point game before. They must have taken that away from her. I'll look at the uh, totals. Might have been a violation there. Because they had 14. Yeah, they took that away from her. So that, pass, that free throw did not count. 23-18. St. Mary's basketball. Down in the corner. Carter. Off to Garad, a drive, a take, a basket, and a foul. So Garad with two more. She now has 21 points and a blocking foul on Revere. Natasha Icovello committing that foul. Her first, team's sixth. Garad's free throw is good. Oh, she's doing it all here tonight for St. Mary's. 22 points for her in the first half. Revere basketball, Gonzalez up top. Off on the right, here's a three, and a, a good three from Emily DiGiulio. Her first points of the night. Just in off the bench for DiGiulio. St. Mary's working it around the perimeter, but a traveling violation. Revere basketball. Trailing by five points, 26-21. Gonzalez there working with uh, Natasha Icovello to her left. Gotham comes up, or rather, this is Pepic, rather, up to the high post at the foul line. They enter the ball to her, kicking it back off to Gonzalez on the right wing. No. Offensive board out in the corner, Maritza Scott, but she's traveling. Again, this game on uh, live video tonight, also uh, on channel A for audio. So if you happen to be listening to it on replay, we're kind of doing it as if it's a uh, television game here tonight. Pass into the paint, taken away. Tip there by Revere Scott. She gets the ball back on the return pass, takes it to the basket, and puts it in. Maritza Scott. It's her first points of the night. 26-23, a three-point game. Revere not going away here. On the road at St. Mary's. These two teams will meet a week from Friday down in Revere. Ball tipped again by Maritza Scott. Pass back into the middle, taken by Garad. Garad is blocked, and there's a blocking foul. That foul will go on uh, Natasha Icovello. No, I take that back. I guess they're giving that. That free throw is no good on the one and one. The rod misses that. I'm going to reconnect my fouls here. That was on DiGiulio, the blocking foul. Revere basketball, trailing by three. 26-23, just under two minutes to go. That's a three. A little short by Icovello. Here's a strong take to the basket by St. Mary's Mia Nowicki, and she lays it in. It's her first points of the night. 28-23. Oh, 
St. Mary's by five. That's Pepic up top. Kicks it out in the left corner. No, Pepic, the offensive board, spins and lays it in. <clears throat> Pepic with the two points. She's got six on the night. Coming in off the bench, their leading scorer off the bench with 17 points, averaging 17 points and 10 boards this season. So she's a real uh, force off the bench. Take to the basket there by Olivia Nazaire for St. Mary's. She's got the answer right away for the Spartans. 30-25, five-point lead, Revere trails. Five-point lead for St. Mary's. Pepic takes the feed inside, shot doesn't go, rebound, scramble for it, and Garad has it for St. Mary's. 50 seconds to play, first half. This is Garad. Outside the three. Two hands over her head. Pivots and throws a pass down in the right corner for Dixon, back up top for Garad. 36 seconds. Take to the basket. She is traveling. 33 seconds to uh, play here in the first half. And it'll be a Revere basketball. 30 seconds. Pamela Gonzalez off on the right for Icovello. For Pepic, she is traveling. Too many steps, and St. Mary's <coughs> will get the ball back yet again here. Leading by five, 30 to 25. St. Mary's, Garad lending some time, run off the clock. Haven't really seen that before. 10 seconds left, up to midcourt, eight seconds. Off on the right wing. Back to Garad, a three with four seconds. She's got it. Another three for her. She's got five threes in this basketball game. 33-25. One, two, three, five. I think I wrote that one down. And uh, we'll step aside. We're back with more just ahead here on MSONewsports.com. Our halftime score, St. Mary's 33, Revere 25. Hi folks, this is Gerard Moynihan, and today I'd like to speak to you about the North Shore Student Athlete Program. Sponsored by Moynihan Lumber in conjunction with the Salem News, the Daily Item, the New Report Daily News, and the Gloucester Times. The program now in its 24th year celebrates high school students who excel not just on the playing field, but in the classroom as well. Male and female winners are chosen each month. All student athletes must be nominated by their coaches. Nominations for the program are made via email to nsstudentathlete at gmail.com. Youngsters who are nominated must have a B average or better. Monthly winners are then eligible to be selected as Student Athletes of the Year. Yearly winners and their families are recognized at a luncheon at the Salem Country Club held in early June. Please remember, all youngsters playing a varsity sport at any high school on the North Shore, public, private, or parochial, are eligible. For the hand lover, we measure up. We are at the half here at St. Mary's with the uh, Spartans leading, 33-25. I think they put a little burst on just for you, uh, Grace Cotter-Regan, uh, head of school here at St. Mary's, joining us at the half. I love that little burst. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they saw you popping up here. Now, you're busy. What's going on tonight? You got an event going on tonight? Yes. So tonight we're uh, celebrating our scholars. We have a scholars program for the students who are invited into the scholar program. It's an academic program, but it has many components. Yeah. And uh, this is the yield dinner, hopefully, that most of them will join us here at St. Mary's in the fall. The best and the brightest. And uh, we welcome everyone. But these kids are really, really strong. So these are incoming students. Incoming so. freshmen. Oh, yes. I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, how, how are admissions and, and, and what's that process like now? So admissions is very competitive, as you can well imagine, on the North Shore. There's a lot of cho there are a lot of choices for students. Uh, we feel we're a great choice for our students. And so right now, it's it's pretty competitive. Students receive their acceptances February 1st. Uh, Right now, they make their decisions. It's uh, around, you know, the best choice for them. So all the schools are having accepted student nights and welcoming them to the facilities. And 
trying to do the best to engage them and encourage them to discern and make a good decision. Now, I'm, I may be wrong, but <clears throat> excuse me, but admissions has kind of it's not that not that it's changed at all, but it's a big focus now, correct? Right? Oh, I yeah. Mean, I mean, well, it's sustainability. You know, there are demographics have shrunk, uh, and the Catholic schools we see it probably down 10 percent across the region. Uh, we actually had our largest class that we've had in five years last year. We our shoot we shoot for 125. The goal is for the school to be about 620, mm -hmm. 500 on the upper school, and 120 in the Marion Division, which is our six to eight. Six to eight. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, how about athletic success this year? Guys, they've always been very successful here, and including this basketball team. It's amazing. We had a remarkable fall. I give so much credit to Jeff Newell and his leadership in hiring a group of men and women who are just phenomenal coaches. And their X's and O's and their win-loss is amazing. However, their character, sportsmanship, scholarship, they really focus on the students and making sure that they are well-rounded, uh, successful students on and off the court, ice, track, field. So if you look yeah. at the fall, it was remarkable. You know, North Championships with soccer, girls, soccer boys, the football team, CCL yeah. with the cross-country team. It's amazing. And then two of our coaches just hit milestones Yes, last week. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Frank Pegluka, who's our women's, our girls uh, hockey coach, hit his 200th. Young women. A yeah. Young women, I know. <laughs> and Mark Lee uh, hit his 400th career over a 30-year period. So no, pretty I exciting stuff. No, I saw mm -hmm. that. Those are those are great milestones. Mm -hmm. Plus, you've got the well, former coach here as your principal, Jim Ridley, now here. Yeah. He has been a breath of fresh air. Jim uh, runs a tight ship, as you can well imagine. Our students know the rules of engagement. They're excited every day. At the end of the day, Jim gets on our, our PA system and thanks the students for being here, encourages them to do their homework, and reminds them to thank their teachers and their parents for the gift of a St. Mary's education. Well, Grace, anything else you want to share with us at all? I know you've got a very busy here tonight running around. I know. Here. Well, it's exciting to see the girls doing so well. We, were, As you know, we had many injuries. Uh, yes, right. It was right. kind of, I think, I thought I was going to suit up. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but so much stuff is going on. Uh, we have, uh, we're in the middle of a campaign for St. Oh, Mary's. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's a $14 million campaign, a uh, new building, which is a wing. Uh, STEM wing, uh, we and a campaign for endowment and academic improvements. So one of the improvements we're looking at is this this gym, which is probably the most utilized place in in the school aside from the classrooms. And we're actually looking at a whole rehab of the sound system, the stage for drama, arts, and and for purposes multi-purpose use. So really exciting. We hit up, we just raised about nine million. We have five to go. Now, what I can do is tell direct people where to go, so you can get a few more million here out of this Absolutely. out of this interview here tonight. Absolutely, I mean, you know it's pretty powerful this little segment here. But where where do they go and where, where do they find out more about this so if piece? If you go to our website uh, www.stmarieslynn.com, and you can go to the campaign for it's called the Building Futures Campaign, yeah. uh, and it's really to honor Bill Connell's legacy, who gave us our first five million dollar gift, which was matched, and we opened the Connell Center uh, in 2006. Okay. So this wow. is the next phase and we're really excited about it and some great things are happening at St. Mary's. What other things would you, uh, besides the gym improvements, there's oh, the, oh, a whole other wing then you're talking about. Now, where will that be physically here? Just so if you're looking at the school on the Tremont Street side, yes. is the bridge between the academic center, yep. the canal center, and the gym, that will have a wing that will go out. It will be the new entrance for the school and it will kind of enclose the campus. Uh, that's really exciting. And then we have some academic improvements that we're, we're actually doing some stuff this spring. We're getting new cafeteria furniture which doesn't sound like a big deal but it's a big deal for our school uh, and some other we're doing a library commons renovation which is a research-based scholarship database uh, you know so it's it's really exciting now all that stuff it's all important, it's all important. Yeah. exactly right so, well grace great to see you and great uh, to see best you of luck well. with everything for okay St. Mary's. Yep. We're grateful. All, right, all right take bye -bye. take care Grace Carter Regan, the head of school here at uh, St. Mary's High School here on MSONewsSports.com. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll uh, step aside here. As you can see, uh, well, some people are back out of the court, but we'll have the second half just ahead here. So stay with us to score. St. Mary's 33, Revere 25. It's girls basketball on MSONewsSports.com. Hi, this is Jeff Clickstein, General Manager at Moore GMC in Danvers. Did you know that we're a family-owned and operated dealer that's been serving the North Shore since 1969? When you come to see us, you're treated like part of our family. GMC has a great lineup with Sierra pickups, the ever-popular Acadia, and the redesigned 2016 Terrain.
Our service department ranks as one of the best in customer satisfaction because we respect our customers' busy schedule and we do repairs as quickly as possible with the least amount of inconvenience to you. There is clearly a difference not only in selecting the right vehicle for your needs, but selecting the right dealership to buy it from. We are the dealer that will provide you with the best buying experience possible. We are conveniently located off Route 128 at Exit 23, 80 High Street in Danvers. I personally invite all of you to come in, come visit us, see why our customers keep coming back for all their automotive needs. Hi folks, this is Gerard Moynihan of Moynihan Lumber. One of the ways to judge a company is in its staying power. At Moynihan Lumber, we've been doing our thing now for 55 years. Serving all of Greater Boston, Moynihan Lumber offers lumber and building materials, doors and windows, decking, kitchen cabinets, and ace hardware. Visit Moynihan Lumber at any of our three locations, in North Reading, Beverly, or Plastown, New Hampshire, or at MoynihanLumber.com. Moynihan Lumber, we measure up. Many aspects of estate planning are interrelated, and you can turn to attorney Bob Madruga for full-service estate planning to help you develop a comprehensive plan in providing for your future. Bob will work with you through the years to adapt your plan as needed, and he can assist you with managing wills, trust, probate, and taxes. Visit the law offices of Robert J. Madruga at 128 Main Street, Gloucester, or call today for an appointment at 978-283-6883. Hello, sports fans. This is Wally, the voice of Honeydew Donuts. All right, you're getting ready to go to a game. I don't care if it's morning, afternoon, or night. Don't forget, stop into Honeydew Donuts and get yourself a cup of coffee. How about that large iced coffee? That mocha madness one is unbelievable. You'll think you went to Honeydew Heaven. So remember, you heard it here first on MSONewsSports.com. And remember the name, it's Honeydew Donuts, the only way to go. People come and take a seat to really in for a treat at Silverman Street. A great place to eat and drink and meet with family and friends at Silverman Street. Treat you right, day or night, satisfy your appetite. Eat, drink, and chill at the Silverman Street Grill. The Silverman Street All right, we're back live here at St. Mary's getting ready for the second half. Shot was missed. Here's a take to the basket by Garad, and she is fouled and right back at the free throw line. With our interview with uh, Grace Carter Regan, I was uh, still struggling here. I, got, I did not have a chance to do my totals here. So now uh, Garad is at the free throw line for one, for two free throws, excuse me, makes the first one. So they got uh, 26 points in the second quarter. uh, Second free throw is good by Marnell Garad. Let's do that one later. Revere basketball, trailing now by 10 points, and the ball is stolen on a bad pass. St. Mary's, Nazair, down, and it's off of Nazair. She doesn't think so. I believe her, too. Why not believe her? Entry pass, this is Gotham, and violation. Turnover, and it's a St. Mary's basketball. Leading by 10 here, trying to open this up. This is Garad for St. Mary's with a dribble. Up at uh, the foul line is Nazair, who takes the feed now, goes in and lays it in. Olivia Nazair with two points. This is a three from the left. It's deflected there. Comes free to St. Mary's. Nice deflection there by Kayla Carter out on the wing for St. Mary's. A pull-up three by Nowicki. No. Nazaire the rebound off to Garad. A two. No. Uh, check that. That, uh, that two was taken by Kayla Carter out on the right wing. Six and a half minutes to go third quarter. 37-25. 12-point lead for St. Mary's. Revere basketball. Kind of fumbling it around a little bit. Applying the defense there is Mia Nowicki of St. Mary's. Ball goes into backcourt, scramble for it, but it was tipped. St. Mary's gets it. This is Garad 
Pulling up, driving baseline, shot redirected there. Big defensive play by Megan Gotham, but the ball comes free to St. Mary's. Garad to the paint, to, to the lane, rather shot. No, another block there by Gotham. Two big plays by Gotham. Down court, Revere, lay in by Maritza Scott. Big, big plays defensively by double zero, Megan Gotham of Revere High School. High school hockey tomorrow here on MSO News Sports. Peabody playing at Gloucester, 8 o'clock faceoff from the O'Malley Rink in Gloucester. We're brought to you in part tonight by GMC of Danvers. More GMC of Danvers, serving the North Shore since 1969. They're located at 84 High Street. Check in with uh, General Manager Jeff Clickstein. By Sylvan Street Grill. Eat, drink, and chill at the Sylvan Street Grill. And by Moynihan Lumber of Beverly, North Reading, and Plastown, New Hampshire. Ten-point lead for St. Mary's, 37-27. It's 33-25, St. Mary's at the half. St. Mary's basketball. Nowicki inbounding to Garad. Marnell Garad averaging 20 points per game for St. Mary's. Dixon down left corner, being dogged there by Pepic. Comes back up top around the perimeter. This is Kayla Carter. Rod back to Carter. Carter going by one defender, but not far enough in. There's a three out on the left wing that's short. Mia Nowicki, follow-up is good. And there's a foul. Olivia Nazair with the putback for St. Mary's, and she'll go to the free throw line. It's Nazair's second basket here of this quarter. Free throw is good. Right, St. Mary's has shot, the, shot well at the free throw line here tonight. So it's 40-27. St. Mary's leading. Revere trying to stay in contact here. They throw it away. They got the two bigger, there are two bigger players in the lineup right now, and that would be Megan Gotham, number double zero, and number 41, Valentina Pepic. That was Gotham trying to get it down to Pepic on the right side, and it went off her fingertips out of bounds. St. Mary's basketball. Nowicki to the basket. It's on the rim, it doesn't go. Tipped back out there by Nazair. Nice play there by Nazair. Nowicki hits a three. Mia Nowicki. Has five points now. Had a field goal in the second quarter. Five minutes to play third quarter. Revere basketball. Ball knocked Nowicki making the defensive play there. Comes free though to Gonzalez. She goes down. Stays with the dribble. Gets back up. Very uh, adroit play there by Gonzalez. This is Pepic taking the feed and laying it in. Valentina Pepic from the right block going in for the two points. She's got eight points now on the night. 43-29, Revere trails, St. Mary's lead. Nowicki right side, two hands over her head outside on the wing. Garad splits the D down the middle, laying it up, no. Her own rebound, gonna go right back up, makes the basket and is fouled. No, my mistake, that was um, Nazair with the putback. So Nazair with the two points. And she'll go to the foul line for the three-point play. 4.17 to play third quarter. Her free throw is good. Nazair is four for four from the foul line here tonight for Jeff Newhall Spartans. 46-29. St. Mary's leading big here. And um, you know what? Uh, Grace Carter Regan was talking earlier about how the team, you know, with all these injuries, were struggling, and now they're really right back into the title hunt in their league, as uh, Coach Newhall was telling us about in the uh, pregame show. They've won seven straight games. They have a big game Friday night against Fenwick. Share the title there. Ball stolen there by St. Mary's, a missed shot. Right back comes Revere on the attack, and it is a drive and a lay-in by Maritza Scott. Not to be denied, 46-31. Revere struggling to try to get back into this game. Ball knocked free there by Revere, and that was uh, Tatiana Icovello. 
turnover at St. Mary's, and it'll be a Revere basketball coming length of the court. Trailing by 15 points. Third quarter, three and a half to play. Tatiano Icovello, point guard, has um, Gotham up at the high post. Double zero there. Gets the pass. Gotham turns, shoots. Ball was deflected, but Pepic there for the offensive board. Gotham again on the rim. No. This time the rebound is pulled down by St. Mary's Kayla Carter. And she's on the fly herself to midcourt. Off on the left. Garad a three. No. Pepic the rebound. Coach uh, Finn wanting them to push it up court. Get aggressive here. Here's a nice take on the baseline by Revere. Shot doesn't go. Pepic, the offensive board, kicks it back out to Gotham. She'll go back up strong, and she is fouled. That initial take to the basket by Revere is Maritza Scott, number 12, coming in from the right baseline. Well, that's exactly the way I think Coach Finn is trying to design this offense right now at this moment in the game with both Pepic and Gotham in the game. Gotham's free throw is no good. Megan Gotham has six points tonight. She is a junior center. Next one is in the air. That's good. 46-32, 14 point St. Mary's lead. Mia Nowicki to midcourt with the dribble for St. Mary's. Down to Carter in the left corner, cross court right. Tipped out of bounds. It'll be a St. Mary's basketball. Substitution here for Revere coming into the game is Ali Hinojoso, Hinojoso rather, and uh, Gotham coming out. So now Revere a little smaller here. So their biggest player in the lineup right now is uh, Valentina Pepic, number 41, who is standing at the foul line defensively here. St. Mary's basketball. Nowicki to the drive on the baseline. Shot doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Scott. Offered to Gonzalez, a runner, floats on the rim and drops in. Gonzalez with her first points of the second half. She has eight points now in the game. 12 points, St. Mary's lead. Revere trying to creep back in this one a little bit. Garad up top. Just under two minutes to play third quarter. Little out of control take to the basket, but the ball comes free. Nowicki with it, sends it back up on top for Carter. Nowicki a three. Short air ball. Grabbed by Maritza Scott. Off for Gonzalez up court. Going, trying to go by Nowicki. Feeds it out in the corner. A two from the right wing. It's short. Offensive board put up and there's a foul. Second effort there by Ali Hinojosa. The senior, her, she put a three up. Missed, got the rebound, the long rebound. And her, on her take to the basket, she is fouled. And that foul is on Garad. That'll be her third foul. So there's one to, no, check that. My mistake, uh, they didn't change that earlier. That is on um, Carter. It's her second foul. Hinojoso at the uh, line for Revere. Misses the first one. Fouled in the act of shooting. She has a bucket that came in the first quarter. Minute 29 in the third quarter. Second one's in the air. She's got that. One of two at the free throw line from Ali Hinojosa, the senior. Guard, one of the starters tonight for Coach Finn and Revere. Nowicki off to Carter, left side. Two-hand pass off on the right. Garada three. A little long. A rebound. Carter back up and in. Carter with the two points. And that's actually, her, those are her first points of the night. We'll step aside with the timeout. 48-35, 13 points. St. Mary's lead, a minute 15 to play. Third quarter here on MSONewsports.com. Hi, folks. This is Gerard Moynihan of Moynihan Lumber. And if you're thinking about replacing the windows in your home, please see the Anderson Woodwright replacement windows. Why Anderson? With low E glass, low maintenance exteriors, and rich wood interiors, you can turn simple window replacement into significant home improvement. See the Anderson Woodwright replacement windows on display at Moynihan Lumber in North Reading, Beverly, and Plastown, New Hampshire. Moynihan Lumber, we measure up. 
Hi, this is Jeff Clickstein, General Manager at More GMC in Danvers. Did you know that we're a family-owned and operated dealer that's been serving the North Shore since 1969? When you come to see us, you're treated like part of our family. GMC has a great lineup with Sierra pickups, the ever-popular Acadia, and the redesigned 2016 Terrain. We are the dealer that will provide you with the best buying experience possible. We are conveniently located off Route 128 at Exit 23, 80 High Street in Danvers. I personally invite all of you to come in Come visit us, see why our customers keep coming back for all their automotive needs. Back in action here, third quarter. Uh, Hinojoso with a shot from the right side, doesn't go. Rebound St. Mary's with the basketball. Nazaire off to Garad. Just under a minute to play here in the third quarter here on uh, msonewsports.com. Poked out of bounds by Revere's Maritza Scott up by midcourt. So a St. Mary's basketball, Carter to inbound, right sidelines, right in front of the St. Mary's bench. Garad back to Carter in uh, right of the lane, back to Garad. She's walking. Oh, no. Yeah, some violation, a lane violation, not a walk, I guess. So a violation in the lane, too much time, three-second violation, and a turnover, and a Revere basketball. They trail 13, 30 seconds to go third quarter. Gonzalez. Up on the right, this is Pepic down low. Shot doesn't go, but she's fouled. I think they're calling it on Carter. Nope. Wrong again, Bill. Katie Dixon charged with that foul for St. Mary's. That would be her second foul. And Valentina Pepic at the line. She has eight points tonight. Free throw is good. Pepic will have another one. 24 seconds to go. Trying to bring this to an 11-point game. 48-36. It's around the rim and in. Nice roll for her. And it is an 11-point St. Mary's lead. 20 seconds to play. Ball outside. Nowicki brings it to midcourt and over. Off on the left side. Garad. A take to the basket. She's fouled. Spinning, twisting move to the basket. That foul is on Gonzalez of Revere. That's her second. Must have been the foul that was one I did not get marked incorrectly. That's so it must have been Gonzalez earlier. Garad misses a free throw. Well, she had been perfect. And, oh, she had missed one in the second quarter. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be her seventh free throw. Nope. This will be her eighth free throw attempt right here. And she makes that one. So she's six of eight from the free throw line here tonight for St. Mary's. Ten seconds to go. Revere basketball trailing 12. Ball stolen away by St. Mary's. Garad on the take. She's fouled with 1.4 seconds to play third quarter. So Garad going right back to the free throw line. We'll update our point totals in just a moment here for you. There is there's a free throw missed. As Donald Trump would say, they're huge. Second free throw is good. One of two from the free throw line. And a bomb at the buzzer. No good off the fingertips of uh, Tatiano Icovella. Uh, Icavello of Revere. A 13-point lead for St. Mary's at the end of three. The score, 50-37. to St. Mary's on top of Revere. Many aspects of estate planning are interrelated, and you can turn to attorney Bob Madruga for full-service estate planning to help you develop a comprehensive plan in providing for your future. Bob will work with you through the years to adapt your plan as needed, and he can assist you with managing wills, trust, probate, and taxes. Visit the law offices of Robert J. Madruga at 128 Main Street, Gloucester, or call today for an appointment at 978-283-6883. Get up to date on North Shore news and issues by checking out North Shore Today every weekday on MSONewsports.com. News, sports, issues, guests. Connect to the North Shore on MSONewsports.com. 
12 points for uh, St. Mary's in that uh, third quarter. And uh, 17 for St. Mary's. So the decisive fourth quarter is now just underway. It's a 13 point lead for the Spartans and they have the basketball. Both teams with just two losses this year. Revere 14 and two, St. Mary's 15 to two. Shot taken by Garad, no good. Offensive board though by Carter out in the corner. Pass is thrown away. Revere basketball up court. Trying to cut this thing down. Gonzalez, a little tricky dribble. Runner, a floater, no. Pepic the offensive board going up. She's got it and she is fouled. So Pepic now. By the way, uh, Garad has 29 points in this game through three quarters. She is really explosive. She has five threes in the contest. And as I mentioned, she's been to the free throw line eight times here. So she is definitely their offensive weapon here tonight. There's a miss, but the offensive rebound put back up and in by Gonzalez of Revere. They strike big here to start the fourth quarter. They have four points. No, yeah, four points here in the quarter. The uh, basket, the missed free throw, and then the putback after the on the foul shots. That's Gotham with a block. Down court. Scott laying it up. She's fouled, though. Shot didn't go, but Scott will go to the line for two shots. A little burst of energy from Revere to start the fourth quarter here. Again, they have the four points to start this quarter. Just a minute and a second gone by here. It's a nine-point game. And Maritza Scott at the line for two. Makes the first. Nice fingertip release of the basketball. Right hand touch. St. Mary's and Revere here tonight. Two teams will play a week from this Friday at Revere. Six o'clock game. This one's in the air. Good. Two free throws by Scott. They've jumped out. They've got a 6-0 run to start the fourth quarter. It's a seven point game, 50 to 43. Carter takes a feed in the left corner. Garad up top on the dribble. Back to Carter, left side, looks at a three. Now a cross court pass thrown away. Turnover. Timeout. St. Mary's. Remind you about the uh, Spartan Classic. The Classic pairings are coming up on Sunday, February 14th. This is a two-day tournament involving one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 teams. It all starts at 11 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, February 14th. Andrew, you want to spend your Valentine's Day here at the Spartan Classic with me? <laughs> all right, well, it's... Uh, it's there for some folks. It's there available. Dinner, maybe the uh, nightcap, which would be uh, Martha's Vineyard versus uh, St. Mary's. But anyways, it involves teams such as Belmont, Groton Dunstable, Wayland, Pentucket, a great program on the North Shore, Newton North, Maskinama. This Revere team will be playing at 345 on Sunday the 14th against Bill Rickham. Hoosick Valley versus Rockland. And then uh, the tournament concludes with uh, Monday action starting at 11 and going all the way through 7 o'clock. Last year, St. Well, St. Mary's has won this tournament five out of the last six years. Swamps got won it four years ago. Revere basketball trailing seven now. 6.37 to go in the basketball game. Big contest here. Two, two very good North Shore basketball teams meeting here today. Tonight, rather, in a non-league game. This is Pepic down low on the rim. No. Gotham right back up. No. And a big, big rebound there, pulled down between those two twin towers by Olivia Nazaire of St. Mary's. 6.15 to play. St. Mary's leads seven. Carter left corner. They have uh, Nazaire at the foul line, but this is uh, Garad, a three. Rebound, scrap, and they're calling it a held ball. Who's got the arrow? Revere does. Six minutes. Now exactly to play in tonight's game. Revere's Tatiano Icovello. Entry pass. Gotham turns. Daylight shoots. No. Pepic the board though. Going right back up. She's fouled. 
two shots. I think that's on Garad, the foul. Well, the, the two twin towers are back out. Oh, no, Garad did have the three before. They've got her for four now. So that's huge coming down the stretch here. She has only one left, one more foul here. And the free throw by Pepic is good. She'll have another. Valentina Pepic. And a sophomore hits it. Two free throws in a row for her. Did they just take that back? They, they, yeah, they called that back. Another violation. Because they started here with 37. That's seven. Yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, they took that one back. Just looking at my point totals here. Another, uh, let's see, we got a foul on the floor. Revere foul on Gonzalez, her third foul. St. Mary's to inbound on the end line. Nowicki, back to Carter down in the corner. Kayla Carter, and now Garad playing with the four personal fouls up top. Off on the right, Nowicki. Cross court left, Carter a two, no. Rebound pulled down there by Revere's Gonzalez, up court. Gonzalez flying, slides by a pick, gets it off in the right corner. Back up to Gonzalez. She uh, goes on the take, up bump. Good cut, split the D, draws the foul, and Gonzalez will go to the line for two shots. It's a six-point game, 50 to 44. Foul is on, a lot of fouls mounting up here. Carter picking up her third foul. Still a lot of time left here. Five minutes, two seconds to play. Gonzal um, Gonzalez for Revere. Has 10 points tonight, now at the free throw line. One of those 10 points came from the free throw line in the first quarter. This one is good. She's got 11 points. It's a five point game. This did not look possible a while ago. Next one's in the air, that's good. Now it's a four point game, a two possession game here. St. Mary's with the lead in the basketball. Marnell Garrod, off to Nowicki, to Carter, right side. Back to Nowicki, Garrod left wing, turns down a three, slides by the D, goes into the paint, a runner, no. Rebound is pulled down by Pepic of Revere. Down court, Scott lost it. The ball had it knocked away. Carter slides by the double team, feeds it up to Garrod, a pull up two, got it. Her first points of the quarter. She's got 31 points now in the game tonight, unofficially. 52 46. St. Mary's lead. And here's Revere's Pepic in the paint. Shot doesn't go. And a nice big rebound there. Pulled down by St. Mary's Nazaire. She's been big tonight. There's Nowicki with a take. No. Scott with the rebound. Pulls it down and starts it up court. Maritza Scott going left to right, sliding out on the right wing. Goes back up on top to uh, a point guard off on the left wing. A three ball is put in by Gonzalez. It's a three point game, 52-49, a one possession game. A timeout called by St. Mary's with three minutes, 52 seconds to play. We'll step aside here. We're in the third, uh, fourth quarter rather on MSONewsports.com. Hello, sports fans. This is Wally, the voice of Honeydew Donuts. All right, you're getting ready to go to a game. I don't care if it's morning, afternoon, or night. Don't forget, stop into Honeydew Donuts and get yourself a cup of coffee. How about that large iced coffee? That Mocha Madness one is unbelievable. You'll think you went to Honeydew Heaven. So remember, you heard it here first on MSONewsports.com. And remember the name. It's Honeydew Donuts, the only way to go. MSONewsports.com featuring live winter high school sports broadcasts in both hockey and basketball. Follow us on Twitter sports, and email us at msonewsports at gmail.com. 
We are connecting you to the North Shore like never before. Live streaming video tonight from St. Mary's. I'm Bill Newell along with our streamographer, Andrew Nicastro, here on MSONewsports.com. Scott with the block of the pass by Nowicki and now backtracking it is Kayla Carter for St. Mary's to take the ball back for the Spartans. Turnover, turnover. Garad with it, off to Carter on the right wing. Three and a half minutes to play, three-point game. Tight one here, here's Nowicki with a three. Little long, Carter the offensive board. Big play there, she's doubled though, and they got a reach-in foul. And we're in the one-and-one -one situation here. Gonzalez committing the foul. That's her fourth foul. So now we have two players with four fouls, one on each team. Garad of St. Mary's, number 14 there. And Gonzalez, number three for Revere. And for St. Mary's, Kayla Carter at the free throw line. One and one. Got the first, she'll get the bonus. Each team now with seven personal fouls. With 3.21 to play. Four point game. St. Mary's leads. Carter's second free throw. Around and out. So it stays a four point lead for St. Mary's. Revere basketball, Maritza Scott. Off for Gonzalez, back to Scott. Tries to enter it down low to Pepic, doesn't go. Good hustle and here's Garad right back. Boy, she's invaluable for this St. Mary's team. No wonder she stayed out with four personal fouls. Garad up top, cross dribble to the left. Slides by two defenders, but the third time, the third defender, Megan Gotham redirected the shot out of bounds. Big double zero, Megan Gotham for Revere. Just under three minutes to play in the basketball game. Quick inbounds pass. This is Carter on the right wing. No. Rebound pulled down by Pepic of Revere. Off for Scott. Up court looking. Had Gotham cut down through the paint. Here's Gonzalez, a runner on the rim. No. Rebound fought for, tied up. Gotham there along with Gonzalez for Revere. And for St. Mary's, Olivia Nazaire held the ball. Arrow going for St. Mary's. With 2.39 to play. Garad takes the inbounds pass from Mia Nowicki. Off on the right for Carter. Back up to Garad. To Carter, a little daylight, a three. It's short. And Pepic of Revere with a rebound. A little trouble for a moment there. Gets the pass off for Gonzalez. Gonzalez to the middle. Looking left, looking right, looking back left with a pass off on the wing. Coach Finn looking for one of her players to make the cut. That didn't happen. Icavello out on the wing. Back down to Scott. Entry pass down to Pepic. Off for Gotham. The shot doesn't go. Second effort. Uh, she's got it. Gotham with two points. It's a two-point game. 53-51. A minute 52 to play. MSONewsports.com. Pass out on the left for Carter. On um, cross court. Scott nearly with the uh, knock out of bounds. Here's Garada three. Got it off the glass. Timeout. For Garad now, I have her for 34 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven threes. Well, that would make sense. Seven threes is 21. Just double checking here. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28. 30, 31, 32. Is that what I said before, 32? It all adds up. Sort of, I think. Unbelievable. 32 points for her in tonight's game. Marnell Garrard, high scorer coming into this game for a St. Mary's High School, number 14. She's a sophomore guard out of Lynn. And she has had a tremendous game here tonight against Revere. You know, as a high school player, you know, you can be a good player and get big point totals if you're a good player. But when you do it against a good team like Revere, that really speaks volumes for you as a player. With a minute and a half to go, it's a Revere basketball. They trail four. Here's Scott with a take. Little Daylight lays it in. 
Maritza Scott with the two points, making it a three-point game, 56-53. St. Mary's basketball, Carter, two hands over her head, off to Garad. Here she goes, she launches a three, and she's got it. 35 points for her tonight, 59-53. Big, big, huge night. Here's a three from Revere, no. Shot taken there by uh, Icovello. On the cut, a drive and a lay-in by Nowicki. Mia Nowicki with the two points. Revere needs a timeout here. And all of a sudden, it's back up to an eight-point lead with just under a minute to play for St. Mary's. Game brought to you in part tonight by Gloria Food Store, consistently Beverly's number one deli, by Harrington Trophy, rewarding the North Shore for over 25 years, located on Chestnut Street in Lynn and at harringtontrophy.com, by Moore GMC of Danvers on High Street, by Moynihan Lumber of Beverly, North Reading, and Plastow, New Hampshire, by Sylvan Street Grill, eat, drink, and chill at Sylvan Street Grill, and Honeydew Donuts, the only way to go. Our Lynn sponsors during the fall football season included the Lynn Museum, Columbia Insurance of Lynn, Porthole Restaurant of Lynn with their award-winning clam chowder, Lynn Auditorium, and the Daily Item of Lynn at itemlive.com. Itemlive.com, all new for 2016. Revere basketball coming out after the timeout with 51.5 seconds to play in an eight-point deficit. They got to come to the basket quickly here. This is Gonzalez. Kicks it out on the corner. A take to the basket, a runner and a floater, and a two points by Tatiano Icovello. And now full court pressure, but Nowicki gets it. And up court, we got a foul. And a timeout. The foul is on Hinojoso of Revere. We're in the one and one here. Eight team fouls on Revere. Eight team fouls, not 18 fouls. Eight. No wiki at the free throw line. And she makes the first, we'll have the bonus. It's her first point of the night. I, I'm sorry, check that. That is not her first point of the night. That's her, uh, get that total for you in a moment. This one is in and out. Six, eight points. She has eight points on the night. This is Gonzalez of Revere, a runner, floats it to the rim. No, it falls off without going in, and here's Garad back. She's fouled. Intentional foul. Substitution coming in for Revere in a moment. Natasha Icovello, the uh, senior. And now Garad will go to the free throw line for St. Mary's. Got it. Not a surprise there. I think that's her ninth free throw attempt here tonight. Next one is no good. So we have her at um, 36 points right now. 36 points for Garad. Carter to inbound the basketball at midcourt. Looking, 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 and finding Nowicki. Gets fouled. Reach and foul. Now they're in the double bonus. That's the 10th team foul on Revere. Personal foul called on Tatiana Icovello. And Nowicki at the free throw line for St. Mary's. Makes the first one. Nine points off for the night for her. This could put her in double digits, and it does. She has 10 now. 20.8 seconds to play. Here's Maritza Scott, left, right side, off on the left wing. A long, long three. Doesn't go from the fingertips of Icovello. Right back is Scott to the basket. No. Offensive rebound. Pepic up. No. That doesn't go. Six seconds. Uh, St. Mary's basketball. And Garad has it. And they'll let the time run out. 65-55 the final score. St. Mary's wins. We're back with a final recap. Just ahead. Stay with us here on MSONewsports.com. Pico! 
romantic seat to rail in for a treat at Sylvan Street, a great place to eat and drink and meet with family and friends at Sylvan Street. Treat you right, day or night, satisfy your appetite, eat, drink, and chill at the Sylvan Street Grill. The Sylvan Street Grill has a great new game time menu featuring delicious new dishes, specials, and all time favorites too. Eat, drink, and chill at the Sylvan Street Grill. The Bradford Tavern, the Rowley Destination Restaurant, featuring many modern touches, nestled in a rustic setting, offering the finest steaks, seafood, and many quality daily specials. The Bradford Tavern is open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to midnight, serving lunch and dinner. See you soon at the Bradford Tavern in Rowley, 89 Haverhill Street, Route 133. And check us out at BradfordTavern.com. Hi, this is Jeff Clickstein, General Manager at More GMC in Danvers. Did you know that we're a family-owned and operated dealer that's been serving the North Shore since 1969? Our service department ranks as one of the best in customer satisfaction because we respect our customers' busy schedule and we do repairs as quickly as possible with the least amount of inconvenience to you. We are conveniently located off Route 128 at Exit 23, 80 High Street in Danvers. I personally invite all of you to come in, come visit us, see why our customers keep coming back for all their automotive needs. Hello sports fans, this is Wally, the voice of Honeydew Donuts. Alright, you're getting ready to go to a game, I don't care if it's morning, afternoon, or night, don't forget, stop into Honeydew Donuts and get yourself a cup of coffee. How about that large iced coffee? That Mocha Madness one is unbelievable. You'll think you went to Honeydew Heaven. So remember, you heard it here first on MSONewsSports.com. And remember the name, it's Honeydew Donuts, the only way to go. Hi folks, this is Gerard Moynihan of Moynihan Lumber. One of the ways to judge a company is in its staying power. At Moynihan Lumber, we've been doing our thing now for 55 years. Serving all of Greater Boston, Moynihan Lumber offers lumber and building materials, doors and windows, decking, kitchen cabinets, and ace hardware. Visit Moynihan Lumber at any of our three locations, in North Reading, Beverly, or Plastown, New Hampshire, or at MoynihanLumber.com. Moynihan Lumber, we measure up. Gloria Food Store is still Beverly's number one deli, and no matter what New England weather is thrown at us, Gloria is open. With fresh bread delivered from Sunray Bakery every morning, Gloria can provide party platters, calzones, hot trays, cold trays, salad trays, and finger sandwiches for whatever you have planned. Call in your order at 978-922-3613, stop in at 268 Rantoul Street, or visit GloriaFoodStore.com. Get up to date on North Shore news and issues by checking out North Shore Today every weekday on MSONewsports.com. News, sports, issues, guests. Connect to the North Shore on MSONewsports.com. Quick recap. One huge player tonight for St. Mary's in their uh, 65-55 win, Marnell Garad with uh, 36 points. Just an unbelievable performance here tonight for her. Yeah, I should have done this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven threes. Seven threes, total 36 points for her. She had two teammates also in double figures. Mia Nowicki with 10 points and Olivia Nazair with 10 points and Kayla Carter with three points for the Spartans. For Revere High School, they were led by Pamela Gonzalez with 15 points, Valentina Pepic off the bench with 13 points, and then the Maritza Scott with 10 points, Megan Gotham with nine points, two players with three points, Ali Hinojoso, Emily DiGiulio with three points, and... Uh, Tatiano Icovello with two points. So Revere falls to 14 and three, and St. Mary's improves to 16 and two. Final score from St. Mary's and Lynn: St. Mary's 65, Revere 55. With Andrew Nicastro, our streamographer. I'm Bill Newell. Thanks for being with us on this Tuesday night. St. Mary's tops Revere in girls high school basketball. This is MSO Newsports.com.